is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for yet another video. Today, we are going to talk about the best and worst stores to buy model airplanes from. What are the best and worst stores to buy model airplanes from? In today's video, I'm going to tell you from years of collecting experience and from having bought hundreds of model aircraft. Let's get started. In this video we're going to talk about the best model airplane stores, the worst model airplane stores, and some others that I would say you can buy from with some notes attached to it. So we'll talk about each of those sections here in today's video. Now this version is an updated version of the video that I made nearly two years ago which is one of the most popular videos on my channel and it was called the best and worst places to buy model airplanes. That video did really well, you all seemed to really really enjoy it, but I do feel that since that video was made there have been some changes that have occurred in the space to where an updated version of that video is justified so I can talk about some of the changes that have happened in the space and my updated recommendation list of the places you should buy model airplanes from. So we're going to start with the best places to buy model airplanes from and these will be all in alphabetical order as well. Every store in the recommended section I have bought from before with the exception of the aircraft model store which is based in Europe and my hobby house which is based in Malaysia. The reason I have bought from those is just because they're so far away and it's just not practical to me but I will recommend them anyway as I've heard good things about them. We're going to start with my top recommendation and also just so happens to be in alphabetical order the first one and that one would be airline company stores. Now why are airline company store websites a good place to buy from? Well you have several advantages with them. The first one is that the price is really, really low. So for example, if I was to buy an Alaska Airbus 320, say this model airplane right here on the bottom of this pile, I can go on the Alaska Airlines company store and buy it for $20 plus shipping. That is the case for all the 400 scale models and the 200 scale models like these, these really nice ones are all 40 bucks a piece, which is half of what you can buy it from from a regular retailer. So Alaska Company Store has some great sales. The UPS Company Store has some good sales as well, as does the FedEx Company Stores. Now most of the company stores don't tend to sell a wide range of products. The Alaska Company Store is one of the exceptions to that, but most of the ones that do only sell a few models each, but they are good models to add to your collection, and they're good fleet builders, and they tend to be really good prices for Gemini Jets models. There are some situations where buying from a company store can be more difficult. For example, when I bought this Allegiant A320, I bought three of these from the Allegiant company store. They were $25 each on the store, which is about half of what they cost from a retailer, or definitely half what General Jess was charging at the time. The only issue is that in order to get access to these models, you had to be an employee at the company. And but I don't currently and haven't before. One of my subscribers happens to work for an FBO that has a contract for Legion, and so he has access to the Legion company store and was able to get these for me and then I just bought them off of him. Pretty good deal, about three of them, $75 plus shipping. I think it was like 80 bucks total. Pretty good deal for them. And some company stores are like that where you have to either work for the company to get access to them or know somebody who does. So that might be a limitation that you have to consider when you're buying from a company store. But generally you can get really good deals. I've noticed they're generally about 50% off MSRP. A little bit more than that sometimes, a little bit less, but generally about 50% off the price is what you're going to pay from a company store, which is a really good deal. So that's essentially my top recommendation. Your selection models will be fairly small, but if they're the models you're looking for, you will get great prices. So for anyone looking for cheap models, that is the best way to do it. So the next recommendation is the aircraft model store. And this store is a store in Europe. So this is my suggestion for all European subscribers. They have a good store and a great selection of models. And the next store that I highly recommend buying from is DG Pilot. Now this is a physical brick and mortar store located in downtown St. Paul, Minnesota. And they have a really nice selection of models that you can buy from. I have met some of the people that work there before. I have not met the owner yet, but hopefully that will change when I go to Airliners International in Dallas in 2023. But I've heard really good things about him. I'm probably a very friendly person. And it sounds like the sort of person I could have a really long conversation with, which is for all you co-workers who I've worked with in the past, you know I do like having good conversations. So that sounds like something that would be fun to do. 
Digipilot, they have great prices on their models and the customer service is excellent. One of the best that I've dealt with for any store. And another nice thing about them is they are a real physical brick and mortar store that sells model airplanes. There aren't a whole lot of those that exist anymore, but they are one of the better ones out there. The next one is going to be the Midwest Model Store. Now this is a store that is an online retailer. It's located in Indiana and therefore in the middle of the country, which allows them to ship models fairly quickly to the entirety of the country, which is great. For those of you that follow this channel, you know I've had a sponsorship with the company and that you can basically buy models at a discount rate and they get commission as well. Uh, because I'm trying to stay as objective as possible with this video, I will not be promoting the sponsorship, nor will I be linking it in the description. Instead, I'll just be listing every single store that I recommend in the description in order to be as unbiased as possible and then you choose which store you want to buy from. The next recommendation is My Hobby House. If you're looking to buy model airplanes and you're in Asia, they are a very good source to buy from. They have made some exclusive releases which are really cool. They do the Qantas 737 300 and 400 which are really awesome models. And they, they have a huge selection of model aircraft. And it's interesting that the Asian collection scene is something that, while I'm not as familiar with it, I have seen and hard reports that there are some giant physical stores in some portions of Asia. Like in Hong Kong, there's like an actual model airplane store that's like the size of an actual McDonald's and they sell like thousands of airplanes there. Just, it's kind of crazy some of the things out there in Asia with selling model airplanes. However, I'm just not as familiar with the market. But I have heard good things about my hobby house, so go check them out. They are a good retailer to buy from. The next one is Panda Fox Toys. Now this is a website that sells Gemma Jets model airplanes and some other brands as well. They are located in Las Vegas, Nevada. That is important because Gemma Jets is based there, which is one of the biggest model airplane companies. And therefore they are able to get the models as soon as they arrive in the United States the same day. So they're able to ship them out really quickly to the customer, which is important. In addition, the store is run by either a former employee or a current employee at Gemma Jets, which helps with relations with the company to be able to actually sell airplanes quickly and effectively. This is really important because I am not doing as many recommendations for people just run a website. Instead, I'm looking for like actual corporations that hire a bunch of people and are well known in the collecting industry instead of just some random person who runs their store out of their parents' basement. Another huge benefit of Panda Fox Toys is the fact that their models get free shipping any order, any amount. So you buy one model and you get free shipping. You buy 20 models, you get free shipping. This is a good deal as a lot of retailers require you to spend a certain amount of money to get free shipping. Whereas Panda Fox Toys has no limit to get free shipping. You can just buy one $30 plane and you get free shipping, which is great. That saves a lot of money over time. The final store that I will recommend in today's video is another one that I did not have in my previous video, and that is West Coast Diecast. Now this is a store that is owned and operated by someone in Canada, in Western Canada, and they sell a ton of Canadian models is what they become known for, but the reason I buy from him the most often is because he sells a lot of used models. He has a very nice selection of used models available, as well as selling Fantasy Wings, which is a GSC manufacturer. Now of course that matters to me because I'm trying to build a really realistic and detailed airport, of which high quality GSC is really important, even though it's expensive, Fantasy Wings is the best in the business and therefore I buy from him for that reason because a lot of other retailers just do not sell Fantasy Wings branded models at all. West Coast Diecast is a good source for Fantasy Wings and for used model aircraft. As well as they do sell new aircraft but I essentially buy from them for the purpose of Fantasy Wings and used aircraft. I bought from him three times before and waiting on some new Fantasy Wings models to come in but haven't had any issues so far. So, where should you not buy airplanes from? Well, we're going to talk about five places you should avoid at all costs that have some issues. The first two are ones that were on the list previously. They are the Airplane Shop and Amazon.com. So, why should you not buy from the Airplane Shop? They are the official retailer for Gemini Jets, who is the largest manufacturer on the scale. So, you can see Almost every single one of these is a Gemini Jets. In fact, every one you can see in the frame is a Gemini Jets. That's a JC Wings down here. But Gemini Jets is the biggest manufacturer in the space and they sell a ton of models. And they also own three brick and mortar stores as well. They own one in Las Vegas, Miami, and they have one in New Jersey. So they've been very successful with selling model airplanes, both 
as a manufacturer and as a retailer. So why do I not recommend buying from them? The simple reason is the price for these models. You are going to pay full MSRP retail price for these models. Whereas every other store that I'm going to talk about has some form of a discount on a model. And when you're someone like me who has bought 400 plus aircraft, a 20% discount over time means the difference of literally thousands of dollars over time. And having that discount from a retailer is a big deal. Whereas the airplane stock just sells at full MSRP and that can get very expensive over time. So I don't recommend buying from them because of that. They also charge for shipping as well, which a lot of retailers will give you free shipping if you spend so much money. Like say you spend 150 bucks, you get free shipping on all orders. Whereas with their plane stock, you have to pay for shipping on all orders. So that is something that should be considered as well. Now they may have a shipping policy where if you spend a certain amount of money, you get free shipping. And I know sometimes they'll have sales where they do that. But generally, just having to pay for shipping is not something that I'm a big fan of. So Amazon is a company that I do not recommend buying model airplanes from for two reasons. One is a lot of the prices on Amazon.com are inflated prices, which are more expensive than what you might find at a retailer or even the airplane stop sometimes with their MSRP prices is less than Amazon.com. So it's like Amazon sometimes has very inflated prices. I do not understand why that is, but sometimes that is the case. In addition, Amazon shipping is not generally very good for model airplanes. Keep in mind, Amazon is used to selling a wide range of products and they do not specialize in selling high-end collectible models. This means that they may not be treated very well with packaging or in shipping, whereas if you buy from a designated model retailer, you can expect them to pack your models and take better care of them than Amazon will because that store exists for the purpose of selling models, whereas Amazon does not. The next store we're going to talk about is Diecast Jets. Now, Diecast Jets is founded very similarly to Panda Fox Toys in that they are created by a former Jimmy Jets employee. Now, Diecast Jets is not anywhere near as good as Panda Fox Toys as people have had issues with refunds not coming through, models not being shipped, and I am one of those people that have had that issue. And I know several other people have had that issue where they've ordered a model and it never got sipped. In my case, it was an American Airlines Boeing 787. That was back in the 2015 release, the first one they ever made. And I contacted them, tried to get them to send the model to me. They never would. And I stopped buying from them at that time. And I know other people have had that issue as well. Where trying to communicate with the store has been a significant challenge. Which this is a big deal as a lot of modern model aircraft are very complicated and tend to have more QC issues than they used to. And therefore you need to have a retailer that has good customer service to be able to take care of those problems. Diecast Jets does not have that. Next store I'm going to talk about is Easy Toys. They were actually the second store I started buying from after I stopped buying from Diecast Jets. Easy Toys has been around for a very long time. They are located in San Diego, California and they actually have a physical brick and mortar store. However, their quality of customer service has gone down significantly. I know the last time I made this video, I recommended the store. However, they are no longer in the recommended section. As the last two times I bought from them, I had issues. In 2019, I pre-ordered the model and bought a couple other models and had a couple issues with customer service with them. And then the last time I bought from them was in 2021, in March, when I tried to order some Delta CRJ900, when that was a really big hot topic that was a model that had just come out and I ordered it the day of. And when I talked to one of the service representatives about my order that I had made, I'd ordered five of them, which I had a good feeling was gonna get cut down, which I was fine with. But I specifically asked them to keep the order active and to not cancel it. I was like, okay, I would like to have at least one, preferably more than one, but one will be fine if I just get one Delta CRJ900. But I specifically told them not to cancel the order. However, the representative that I talked to on the phone belittled me for ordering five CRJ 900s, which I know some people weren't a big fan that I ordered 27 of them. But the thing is, it's my money, I can do with it what I want. It's not the retailer's choice to decide to cancel my order because they didn't like the fact that I was buying a product that they were offering. If you're going to do that to me as a customer, I'm not going to buy from you anymore. After the service representative made fun of me and insulted me for my order of five Delta CRJ 900s, 
Noticeably, within a few minutes, they cancelled the order, which I specifically told them not to do. As a result, I have never bought from them again, and I do not recommend anyone else buying from them. I have heard other people have had some issues with talking to their service representatives or even trying to get customer service done, as they tend to be a fairly insulting group of people and are not very interested in your best customer experience. So I do not recommend buying for Easy Toys. In addition, they have had a noticeable habit recently of changing the prices of models to make their deals look better. This is very noticeable with NG models aircraft in particular, as they will sell the MSRP of these models as significantly higher than NG models sells on their official website and marketing. And then they will lower the price down to right around the MSRP that NG models actually sells on their website. This is very deceptive and in some cases illegal marketing practices, and therefore I cannot recommend buying from them for this reason. The final store that I would recommend you avoid like the plague is the RM model store. Now this is one of the reasons why I have recently been very leery about promoting single individual stores. Because the store is operated by one person, that means that one person can also ruin the store. So a certain individual who I will not name started the RM model store and started selling a lot of really cool products including some exclusive releases which a lot of customers wanted. The problem became that starting towards the end of 2021, he stopped being responsive to customer service requests, delaying shipments, and sometimes not even shipping out models at all. Eventually, I would have a total just sort of $1,600 in orders sitting and waiting, and he would not be very responsive, or he would come up with excuses for why models were not shipping out. In addition, there was the whole fake shipping label scandal that happened, and all sorts of things that ended up eventually causing me to have to dispute the charges with my credit card holder and I just made a whole video about the whole situation if you want to go check it out it'll be like up here somewhere so you can go take a look at that and it was just a complete disaster from start to finish just a complete disaster the whole auto model store situation and I don't recommend buying from him as far as I can tell he's not even in business anymore so just don't do it don't buy from him he will probably scam you out of your money and not ship your product. So just don't recommend buying from him at all if you want to actually receive anything at all that you order from him. And with that being said, there are two more stores I want to talk about. The first one is a store that I recommend people avoid in the last video, but I wanted to change it to where I would say it is acceptable to buy from him in some situations. And then another store that is not as much a store but more a common online retail that people buy from. We're going to talk about Waffle Collectibles and eBay. I'll first talk about Waffle Collectibles. So they are a store based in Southern California. This person has been selling model airplanes out of his house for 20 plus years. Yes, he's been in the business for a very long time. And you generally know that if you're buying from him, you are going to get something. His customer service used to be really terrible, but he has improved that as he has added like one or two employees who specifically work with customer experience and shipping out models. So shipping times have improved as well as the customer service experience has improved as well, which is good to see that he has improved that. In addition, the biggest reason why people like buying from Waffle Collectibles is the fact that he sells a lot of used model aircraft and a lot of really rare ones at really good prices. That is why people like buying from him. If you're looking for specific used aircraft, he's generally the top source to go through. Generally the prices are very fair and you know the prices are because they are just listed on the website. You just buy it for that much money and that's the sale price. And so if you're looking for a used model or some of the exclusives that he sells, I do recommend buying from a store in that case. If you're looking to buy new model aircraft, you can get better deals elsewhere, but if you're looking for used models, I definitely would recommend buying from him. I have bought a couple of exclusive models through his store. The final store that we're going to talk about is eBay. Now this of course is one of the biggest online retailers in the world, and eBay can be a good source to buy used model airplanes from. It's very popular to do such. However. You do have to watch the sellers that you buy from because some of them can be scam artists. However, generally a good system to employ when you're trying to buy from eBay is to take a look at the seller's feedback and history. How has the positive feedback been? Has it been like 98% or more? And that's generally a good source with a ton of reviews that helps. In addition, does this individual sell models 
on a regular basis? Is this something that he actually does as like a side business or is this just a, someone who's just trying to sell a couple models or maybe even is a bit shady? If you follow this procedure, this will help you avoid some of the scam artists that are out there on eBay. In addition, it also helps to see that the person has posted pictures of the actual planes that he is selling. This actually helps you to identify that the plane he is actually selling is real and that he is actually selling it. There have been some people who bought models where the person seller just showed a manufactured image and then sent something else entirely different. So that's something to keep an eye out for. But assuming that you follow these processes, you should get a good experience and a good model out of it. So that is my full list of recommended places to and to not buy models from. Let me know what you think of it. And also let me know what you think of this new setup. I had the setup here with boxes on each side and the Christmas tree behind me here for the Christmas season. I got the idea for the setup from Spruce and Brew Scale Modeling. They're an awesome YouTube channel that does kit modeling stuff, particularly for military models in both aircraft and tank and other armored vehicles. He has some good videos and I am going to be starting to build some 1 to 70 second scale kits that I'm really excited about. But he has a good channel and I kind of got the idea for the setup from him. I'll probably be modifying it a little bit to meet my standard and what I expect from a setup. But this will be my setup here for the Christmas season. And after Christmas season, you'll see a totally new setup back here. Um, I know I've gone through a bunch of setups. I had the one back at my old place. And then here I've gone through a few different setups. But basically here it's always been something back here on the wall that I've used. And I will be changing it for 2023 and hopefully making it much more of a permanent setup. So yeah, tell me what you think of it. And hopefully with that being said, you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And God bless you.